क्वेश्चन नंबर 121 ड्यूरिंग सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ अमाउंट ऑफ ए हार्ट वुड इंक्रीजेस बी सैप वुड इंक्रीजेस सी सैप वुड डिक्रीजेस D. Sap wood remains almost constant. Read the above statements and choose the option with correct statements. First, only D. Second, A and B. Third, A and C. Fourth, A and D. During secondary growth of plants, in stem there is increase in the girth and there is formation of secondary xylem. And secondary xylem is technically the wood. The central reason of that wood is called heartwood, and the peripheral region is called the sapwood. As secondary growth takes place, the amount of wood increases, and more and more becomes the heartwood. So the amount of heartwood increases, but the sapwood remains constant. So sapwood increases no. decreases no it remains almost constant so a and d are correct so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move on to the next question question number 122 state true or false to the given statements and select the correct option statement a annual rings are distinct in plants growing in temperate regions b Lenticels occur in most woody trees and permit the exchange of gases. C. Due to stellar secondary growth, central cylinder of wood surrounded by secondary phloem is formed. D. The cells of endodermis opposite to protoxylum divide to give rise vascular cambium and dicot roots. You have to choose the correct option by analyzing which statement is true and which one is false so see the very first statement that is statement a annual rings are distinct in plants growing in temperate regions this is very true statement there is uh, no annual rings distinction in the plants growing in the tropical regions but the plants growing in temperate regions show the distinction in the annual rings due to differential cambial activity so this is very true statement lenticels occur in most woody trees and permit the exchange of gases this is also true lenticels are the opening they are lens shaped and they allow the exchange of gases it is very true c due to stellar secondary growth central cylinder of wood surrounded by secondary phloem is formed yes what is stellar secondary growth which takes place inside the steel and inside the steel it is the cambium or the vascular cambium which is responsible for the secondary growth so due to cambial activity the central cylinder of wood surrounded by secondary phloem is formed it is a very true statement the cells of endodermis opposite to protoxylum divide to give rise to cambium in dicot roots no dicot roots also show secondary growth due to pericycle the cells of pericycle opposite to protoxylum divide to form the vascular cambium so the cambium in roots is completely secondary in origin it is not the endodermis it is the pericycle so this statement is false so by seeing the options you can say option number 2 is the correct option let's move on to the next question question number 123 which of the following is an incorrect difference between heartwood and sapwood option 1 in heartwood cannot conduct water sapwood involved in conduction of water second darker in color lighter in color third less durable and susceptible to attack of pathogens durable and resistant to attack of pathogens fourth occupies large central region sapwood occupies peripheral region you have to mark the incorrect difference between heartwood and the sapwood heartwood cannot conduct water true but sapwood can conduct water as sapwood is a living heartwood is dead second darker in color yes it is also correct heartwood is a darker in color as compared to the sapwood third less durable and susceptible to attack of pathogens and sapwood durable and resistant to attack of pathogens this is incorrect as heartwood 
is a durable and resistant to attack of pathogens whereas sap wood is less durable and susceptible to attack of pathogen so this is the opposite difference which is written here fourth one heartwood occupies a large central region yes and sapwood occupies the peripheral region this is also true so the incorrect difference is the third one so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move on to the next question question number 124 choose the mismatched pair first option world phyllotaxy elastonia second phyllode australian acacia third opposite phyllotaxy calotropis fourth leaf tendril cucurbits you have to choose a select the mismatched pair world phyllotaxy in elastonia it is very true the arrangement of leaf on the stem axis is called phyllotaxy and it is world in case of elastonia phyllode australian acacia this again is true why because in australian acacia the leaves are short lived and the petiole becomes photosynthetic which is called phyllode calotropis opposite phyllotaxy again it is true calotropis shows opposite phyllotaxy fourth leaf tendril cucurbits it is incorrect why because in cucurbits tendrils are present you must have seen tendrils in cucurbits but they are not modified leaves they are modification of the axillary buds or the stem so axillary buds modify to form the tendrils So the incorrect match is the fourth one and the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 125. The roots which arise from parts of the plant other than the radical are called. First, conical roots. Second, adventitious roots. Third, tap roots. Fourth, pneumatophores. So the roots which arise from parts of the plant other than radical are called adventitious roots and those roots which arise directly from the radical which are elongation of the radical are called the tap roots so conical roots are the type of tap roots only so first and third options are ruled out pneumatophores are also the modifications of the tap root they are called breathing roots which help a plant to get oxygen so this is ruled out so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move on to the next question 